I am a, um, a working performance artist in Kansas City. I've been making music and film for, uh, I would say, a little over 10 years now. What really pivoted me towards wanting to become more visible was I started to see this change or shift in the community when it came to the queer community because for several years I felt sort of disenfranchised uh, through the community at large and even the gay community because I approached things, I, I don't know, more in a, a darker stance. Um, I would say that my music's more operatic, more vaudeville, more dark. So um, me as an artist and as a queer person, I started to feel more and more responsible to my community to become more of a platform and more of a voice. Because I am a self-taught artist, uh, I haven't been afforded a lot of the opportunities that a lot of my artistic peers have had. So in my practice that I take so seriously, um, I wanted to have the space and the energy put towards uh, me as much as I could put towards the community. And Charlotte Street sort of navigates that, I feel like, in a way. Um, they sort of spotlight the working artists in the community. And I think that's extremely important because uh, in, a, in a flyover city like Kansas City that's not taken too seriously, um, artists who are spotlighted gives Kansas City a little bit more of an edge. So for somebody like myself, who spent a lot of time in my room making music and feeling like I may never get heard, um, this is a great way for me to segue myself into a larger cause in the community artistically, um, and I think Charlotte Street kind of uh, pivots that.